Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and at long last, we finally got a closing date for Splash Mountain here at Disneyland. So, let's discuss it right now. Before we get into this conversation, I want to just let you guys know to please, please be nice in the comments. Um, I know this is a touchy subject for some people, um, controversial as well. So, no matter what side you're on, if you love it or you hate it, um, just please. Be nice in the comments. You can voice your opinion. Just don't attack other people or um, call, say any foul language about the ride or uh, to anybody else. So, with that said, let's get into some new details about Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So, yesterday, Disney released a new piece of concept art uh, for Tiana's Bayou Adventure featuring Mama Odie over here looking awesome. And by the way, it is confirmed that Mama Odie at least this picture of Mama Odie is an animatronic, which is amazing. And that looks like it's on the final live till. Kind of because it matches up uh, with the model. About the model, you see all the lights in the tunnel. Here is Mama Odie holding all these lights, doing some voodoo magic. So that's probably what this is in the final live till. And it is an audio animatronic, one of dozens. But we'll talk about why that is a potential mislead. Um, in a second. Out of this announcement, Disney confirmed that Splash Mountain at Disneyland will close on May 31st. So, Memorial Day weekend is on the, the May 27th to May 29th. Splash Mountain will have its final day of operation on Tuesday, May 30th. I plan to be there, so if you guys plan to be there, let me know and we can meet up. But yeah, definitely want to ride it one last time and just hopefully it's not too crazy like Magic Kingdom, but I will definitely be there. But last day of operations on May 30th, starting from May 31st through Late 2024, it will be closed and transformed to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. The French marketplace is currently being transformed into Tiana's Palace with the mint julep, mint julep bar next door. That will be opening later this year to create a nice little extension of New Orleans Square, so to speak. Kind of, it will be a boundary between New Orleans, New Orleans Square and Crit Critter Country will still be in existence because Pooh will be right next door. As part of the transformation that should be about potentially 18 months or so, um, Disney confirmed there'll be dozens of new audio animatronics, which is great because I, I think they heard the complaints that people were worried, including me, that it's going to be a mostly screen and mist based ride. So they say there'll be dozens of entirely new animatronics, a uh, brand new cast of original Disney characters with distinct names and personalities, and adorable critters with incredible talent bringing the di diverse flavors of musical gumbo found in New Orleans. There'll be new and original music alongside favorite tunes from the film, and that is very interesting to me. Ever since they announced this attraction back in 2020, they have said there'll be it's the sequel version to the film, the original film. There'll be only original new music. D23 came, and I was thinking they would, you know, premiere some of that original music because they premiered other original music, like for Wondrous Journeys and World of Color 1, but they just instead had like a 20-minute long performance of it was like down the bayou or one of the songs from the original film which is great i love that song but i found it kind of weird that they weren't you know saying anything new or promoting some new music and it got me a little bit worried i'm like oh wait a second one i was already worried because i'm like i really like the soundtrack from the film i've seen it multiple times and i have some favorite songs from there friends on the other side particularly and i'm not gonna hear any one of those songs during the original track or the new attraction so at least let me let's preview some new songs uh, so we can kind of start to like them and get used to them, right? Well, when they didn't pr premiere the new song, I got worried that maybe they didn't even write the new songs yet. But it turns out maybe they're changing their mind or something. Maybe they didn't know. I don't know. But this is the first time in three years now that they have said there will be new songs, but alongside favorite songs from the original film, which makes me feel much better. In fact, this press release is the, mess, is the best I felt about this new attraction since it was announced, to be honest. Um, I'm glad there'll be lots of animat audio animatronics, even though there may be a total net loss, and we'll get to that a little bit later, but at least there'll be dozens of new audio, new audio animatronics, which is good. And, you know, original music from this film, you know, that helps people swallow the new stuff because they like a lot of the original stuff. So if the new songs are good and you have the fan favorites from the original film, then it's just an all-around great musical adventure. 
um, surpassing, potentially surpassing Splash Mountain's musical adventure. Disney also confirmed that the movie talent, some of the movie talent will be coming back to repri- reprise the roles, which is awesome. Jennifer Lewis is back as Mama Odie, and I love her so much. I'm glad she's back. Um, Bruno Bruno Compost is back as Prince Naveen. Michael Leon Woolley as Luis, the alligator. And the one and only Anika Noni Rose as Princess Tiana, which is great. I'm so glad they're all back for the roles. Um, it really, obviously, wouldn't be the same without them. And you'll also see some familiar fam- faces from the film, most likely, hopefully, as animatronics, such as Princess Tiana, Naveen, Mom Odie, Louis, Eudora, and Charlotte, Big Daddy, the King and Queen of Maldonia, and Prince Ralphie. And again, they'll probably be part of that, those 32 or dozens, which should be at least 24 new animatronics. The only thing about the animatronics, and I'm so, again, so glad as I've been saying this whole video, that there's new ones. Splash Mountain currently has around like a hundred animatronics right now. So if they, I've heard they might rip out a lot of them or all of them because, you know, they've been reused. This will be the second time now. So maybe they can't be reused again. So if there's a hundred and they rip them out, but then they only had 24 or maybe 36 or something, then it's like a net loss of like 70 or 60, right? And that's not good. So I'm hoping that they'll still, they're able to reuse a lot of the current animatronics and add dozens as well, not rip all of them out. And then, you know, just we're left with like 20 or 30 new ones, but a net loss of 70 of them. Because if they add uh, 30 new ones or so, but then the rest of the gaps that are filled by the current 100 would be like 60 of them. If those gaps are just filled with the projection mist um, and screens, then I don't know. Is it going to be a superior attraction or even on the same level of Splash Mountain or will it be an inferior attraction? I guess it depends on the pacing on and where they put the animatronics, but I really hope they really take their time and do a really good job with it. I know they're promising late 2024. But they're basically, what, have 18 months. They're going to close it in June, basically June, because it's the very end of May. And 18, exactly 18 months would be really the start of 2025, um, right? January 2025, because it's right in the middle of 2023. 18 months, 2025. They say late 2024, so closer to a year. I don't mind if they delay it a few months, if they really need to really dig in there and need some extra time disney don't rush it just because it's in late 2024 it's okay if you delay it if it just makes for a better attraction so i'm hoping really really hoping that if they have to delay it they do it but i hope it's as good or even better than splash mountain just like guardians of the galaxy mission breakout ever dca is was is better than tower of terror i absolutely loved tower of terror it's my favorite attraction but now Guardians of the Galaxy is my favorite attraction. I hope the Imagineers come in and take some time and do the same thing they do with Tiana's for Splash as they did with Guardians to the Tower of Terror and make it a really good attraction. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys have high hopes for the attraction? Do you just, are you going to give it a chance at least? Or are you very excited for it, about it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But again, please be nice to each other and to the ride itself. Um, and the subject matter, again, is very controversial, so just please be be kind. You can have voice your opinion, but just don't say any vulgar language. If you liked this video, press that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more theme park updates and for universal updates as well. And as always, have a fantastic or splash-tastic day.